Meditation strategy. Dear brothers and sisters, let's start the meditation with a collective namaskar, full of attention, and let's raise our kundalini. Collective namaskar, kundalini. And also to thank Him for giving us an ideal life of a saint who has to work for the benevolence of the whole world. We talk of Christ, we sing of Sri Ganesha, we say we believe in Him, especially Sahaja Yogis feel He is the eldest brother that they have. And a tremendous Surrender, I find, among Western Sajogis, especially for Christ. Because they were born in Christian religion, perhaps, maybe, or maybe, that they found Christ's life a very special one. But to Sahaja Yoga, he has to be much more than that. And to you, Sahaja Yogis. Many people believe in many deities. Like some believe in Sri Krishna, some in Sri Rama, some in Buddha, some in Mahavira, and some in Christ. All over the world, they do believe in some higher being. But this belief is without the connection to begin with. and becomes a kind of a falsehood that they think that Christ belongs to them, Rama belongs to them, or Sri Krishna belongs to them. That they are the possessors of all these deities because they have obliged 
of believing into. And that is how most of the faiths have come. And though they ardently believe in Christ, all these faiths have failed. Because when they believed in Christ, they believed that through Christ, they can get their checks cashed. It was like a bank. You pray to God, you get me all right, all right. Then get my mother all right, my father all right, my sister all right. Get me so much money, get me so much wealth or health or anything. Thinking that because we believe in Christ, he's so obliged that he has to pay for it. And he has to look after us. And that we are rightful possessors of his blessings. Then they form churches, temples, mosques, clubs, believing that now we belong to Christ. All this group is a special chosen one, or we belong to Rama or to Krishna or to someone like that. And to whomsoever they may belong, the one to the whom they belong does not know anything about them. Christ has said, you'll be calling me Christ, Christ, I won't recognize you. Is a big warning to people who say we believe in Christ. So without the connection, if you believe in someone, it has no meaning. It's just like a, some sort of a mythical romantic idea that another person whom you believe in has a special relationship with you. So this assurance that I believe into something or this assumption that I believe into something, because I believe into something, I have every right to get all the blessings that I ask for, is a myth as you must have realized after Sahaja Yoga. But when you become a Sahaja Yogi, then you have got your connection with all of them and with Christ. But this connection, again, in a subtle way, is the same starting. For example, what we try to do is to ask again that this should be done, that should be done. My agya is caught up, mother, please clear it out. Or, uh, I've got a headache, so please put it right. Because you believe in Sahaja Yoga, you expect Sahaja Yoga to feel obliged. That see, now they believe in me, but it's such a great obligation. So Sahaja Yoga must do something for you. Whether you do anything for Sahaja Yoga is not important. Only because you believe in Sahaja Yoga. Because Sahaja Yoga has given you realization, so Sahaja Yoga has every obligation that it should look after. I'm in Sahaja Yoga still, why should I suffer? I'm in Sahaja Yoga, why should my mother not be all right? I'm in Sahaja Yoga as if sort of a organization where you have paid money or something and you are supposed to get all the rewards. Now let us see, after Sahaja Yoga, what should be our attitude, which is same. The first is that now I'm a Sahaja Yogi, and now I'm connected to Christ. So what is my responsibility? 
Christ felt responsible for the whole world. He's described in the Devi Purana as the support of the whole universe. As soon as you are connected with Christ, the whole attitude has to change. So, to be connected with Christ means what are the qualities of Christ you have imbibed within yourself? That's the minimum of minimum. What did you get out of his life? Is it that he has cured people, all right, so you should get cured? He gave eyes to people, so you must get your eyes back. Do you mind removing this? Or is it that his life, which you have enshrined, should also make you something that could be enshrined, that could be respected, that could be called as a reflection of Christ's life. Now let us see his life, how, what kind of a life he led. We read Bible, see, I mean, we carry Bible everywhere, and even I saw the Bible <laughs> in the hotel as if it's a part of the thing, like a soap is kept in the Bible. <laughs> of course, I read it. I don't know how many read it. But then it doesn't become to say you are a Sahajogi if through his connection you have not received any one of his qualities. For example, this is now connected to the mains, so you are getting electricity through it. This doesn't give electricity to the mains, but it receives. So you have to receive something from him. And what you have to receive is the qualities that he has. You might say, because Mother, he was divine. He was the Son of God. But he was also son of his mother. And you are also son of your mother. So mediocrity in our character I cannot say that we are connected with Christ because there is no energy of Christ flowing in you. When the energy of Christ flows to you, you express it. Like yesterday the gentleman was playing and I think the power of Saraswati started flowing in him and how beautifully he played. He couldn't control his fingers. He said, it's all happening here, I don't know how. So throughout, if you see his life, he was a person who was all the time bothered about the benevolence of the world. How clearly he went and talked to the priests and told them, that you don't understand me because you're blind. He told them that he knows his father and his father knows him, but you do not know me nor you know your father. So openly, blatantly, he was talking. He was not afraid that he will go to jail. He was not afraid that by saying such a thing, 
the ego of others will be challenged. Because he was not pretentious. He was not doing something that was not truthful. He was telling the truth. And truth has that capacity to express itself through your personality. <coughs> but do we really believe in ourselves? <coughs> do we really believe that we are Sahaja Yogis? That we can talk to people as Christ could talk to them? At a very young age of 12 years, he could go and talk to the priests. What courage! There was no need for him. He should have really got married, like Sir Yogis do, and settled down with his wife and children nicely. Because the main headache for Sir Yogis seems to be the marriage and their children. He never married. He was so precious that he didn't want to waste his time with these things. He died so young, he knew he had to die. So, in his life, you see, he was not a mundane type of personality, not mundane, not ordinary. I mean, he spoke with such confidence, with such knowledge of truth that people did believe, him had to believe, they couldn't help it. This power you to have and you can do the same. But the way he used his power, <coughs> why can't we use? Because we are not intense about it. Our attention is on something else which is quite frivolous, which is useless. All right, we are Sajogis. So what do we think? First thing we'll think, now today is a puja, what should I wear? Then I haven't yet pressed my clothes or my sari is not all right. I have to match it and how to dress up. All these frivolous things first come to our house. Our our brain. Or in the morning when you get up in your ashrams or anywhere, what do you think? If it was Christ, he would say, I'm sleeping still, I have to meditate, I have to be one with the divine. He would not say, no, no, the divine will look after me, it's all right. The divine will meditate for me. Yeah. After all, Parama Chaitanya, it has to meditate. Why should we meditate? We are all Sajogis. Everything is such. So let the divine meditate for us. We can't get up in the morning. It's difficult. We can't. You see, just can't. But then you can't be a Sajogi. You are supposed to be connected with all the deities, not only Christ. And here you can't even get out of your bed to meditate. While all the deities are already up there waiting for you to get up, that's all. But they can't understand. What's happening to these surgeries? How can they be so low? After all, mother must have given them realization, thinking them to be something great. How did they get realization? They're so ordinary, so mundane, so useless. The deities, the deities start wondering, why mother gave them realization? Because a person who cannot enjoy his meditation cannot be a Sajogi. That's the first sign of a Sajogi that 
he looks forward to that time when he can meditate. <coughs> That is the time you are really in connection with the divine and you enjoy the most. Whenever I get a chance, I go into it. I find it so difficult to come out of it. I mean, for today, it happened to me. was thinking that I'll have to struggle out for this Buddha. <coughs> I'll have to work it out. I don't know how will I get out of this meditative mood. <coughs> but surprises so many people. <coughs> this brought something for me to play. <coughs> How people are meditating, especially so many Indians told me this thing, it's something very surprising that they are supposed to be meditating and immediately they get up. What cakes, what things, what have you cooked, this, that. They, there's no slumber of meditation in them. They just, they just start thinking about food. How can that be? It's the way you cannot get out of your sleep in the same way as Sahaja Yogi cannot get out of his meditative mood. It's so enjoyable. You want to be there. So one of the signs that you are not yet anywhere near Sahaja Yoga is that if you cannot enjoy your meditation. I mean, imagine. If you enjoy a television show or anything, you have to see it, isn't it? You cannot just say, all right, I'm sleeping now and I'm enjoying the television. So you have to be awakened to it. But that awakening is within. And there you see your own connection. It's a joy that I cannot describe really. Uh, there's only one word for that is Niran. And we say just Niran means only the joy, absolute joy. And who would like to give up the joy for what? For a cake or for a tea or this? I mean, just think of it. The joy is so deep, so intense, so beautiful. I don't know what else to say. You have not tasted the ambrosia. There was a who said as if the ambrosia is trickling down on your tongue. It's like that, the taste of it. <clears throat> but what I find that the depth we have not touched, which is within us, all of you have that depth. That not, that you don't have. I have not given you realization because you are just there, here, because you have that depth within you. You are special people with that depth, but you haven't touched it. It shows you haven't touched it. <coughs> Supposing it's like a well full of water, but you are still dangling somewhere in the middle. You haven't yet touched that depth because once you get into that, you get completely drenched and lost. But if that is not the situation, that shows that you are still somewhere dangling in between and any time you can come high and dry. So you have to judge yourself. This is the time for you to judge. You are in connection with Christ. He achieved his resurrection by which we have to achieve our resurrection. But what have we done to achieve that resurrection which he has achieved? He intensely lived a life of complete sacrifice and complete concentration towards one goal 
that she has to achieve the resurrection. Nothing else was important to him. All that attention was on one thing. that I have to achieve this resurrection, I have to get crucified, and I have to be resurrected because the whole world has to be resurrected. But Sajogis, I don't know how many think that way. How many think that dedication is needed? And the best part of it, that is so joy-giving. Every step you move forward is so joy-giving. The sinking in that well is so very joy-giving. It's not painful. Don't have to crucify yourself. Don't have to carry the cross. He's done it for you. So what do you sacrifice? This is your laziness. When it comes to the satisfaction of ego, people are overactive. They're like bullets then. And when it is the satisfaction of their physical comfort, they become, I don't know, we had one rakshasa called Kumbhakarna was to sleep for six months and used to be awake six months. But here I see people sleep for 12 months. What do you call them? <clears throat> then they say, Mother, we can't keep awake. Why? Because you are not meditating. You are not one with Christ. Then his agya he controls. With that agya, you cannot sleep. If his blessings are there on the agya, you cannot sleep. You won't believe in the slightest light, artificial light especially. I can't sleep. Because still Christ is awake. And I have to be awake. So you have to be awakened to this fact that we are surgeries. We have a special responsibility as our connection with Christ is. Our main responsibility is all the time, intensely to think what we can do for the betterment of human beings. And what are we doing about it? First I used to say, count your blessings, because that was the best way to make people understand that there are blessings in such. Now I would say, count your deeds. What have you done for such? Such yoga has done so much for you. To say that Param Chaitanya will look after is absolutely absurd. If Param Chaitanya could do everything, why should it create human beings? One Adam and Eve were sufficient. You have to do it. Unless and until you become deep, it cannot trigger, it is helpless. It's only through you it is going to work out. Now, if there is no instrument, electricity cannot work, can it? Now, you should say the electricity itself must come before me and must do everything. You have to have the instrument, and you are the instrument. And if you do not want to do it, how can Param Chaitanya do it? It will be something like saying, as I told you, 
But let electricity do the job. We will not have any instrument. Can I work it out? Shri Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namaha Let's collectively put attention above Sahasrara and let's open our heart. Let's align ourselves collectively in our heart. Let's feel the spirit shining through as millions and millions of suns in one from our heart throughout. Let's feel the shine, the saintliness, the glory, the power, the beauty of the spirit in our heart. And let collectively, consciously surrender ego, superego, and mind, and everything to the lotus feet of the spirit in our heart. We just let the spirit take control. We become like babies, fully confident that our father, our mother will take care of us, will be the one worrying about our well being. Like a mother does when she has a small baby to take care of. Let's put both hands on the floor. Attention above Sarsvara, above collective Sarsvara. Let's watch our posture to really have our posture straight, but in a relaxed way. and allow Mother Kundalini to flow freely in us. Shri Ganesh Mantra, with focus on awakening the power of the Lord Ganesh in Mother Earth, and a direct connection to him, as we can touch Mother Earth with our hands, and all the connection point of our body to the floor. Shri Ganesh Mantra from the heart. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om to Ameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adishakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Om To Ameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha, Om Tuameva Sakshat, Shri Ganesha Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, 
Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. With a complete collective focus on Mother Earth. Let's say Ganesha Tarva Shirsha. Let's, let's keep both hands on the floor. We're really trying to awaken the power of the Lord Ganesha and feel this power in both our hands. Ganesha Tarva Shirsha. Om Namaste Ganapatai. Tuameva Prajaksham Tatuam Masi. Tuameva Kevalam Kartasi. Tuameva Kevalam Dartasi. Tuameva Kevalam Hartasi. Tuameva Sarvam Kalvidam Brahmasi. Tuam Sakshat Atma Si Nityam. Ritam Vakshmi Satyam Vakshmi. Ava Tuamam, Ava Vaktaram, Ava Shrutaram, Ava Dhataram, Ava Dhataram, Ava Nuchanam, Ava Shishyam, Ava Pashatat, Ava Purastat, Ava Taratat, Ava Dakshinatat, Ava Shurvatat, Ava Dharatat, Sarvato Mam Pahi Pahi Samamtat, Tuam Vang Maya, Tuam Shin Maya, Tuam Mananda Maya, Tuam Brahma Maya, Tuam Sachi Tananda Dutiosi, Tuam Protection Brahma Si, Tuam Nyana Mayo, Vinyana Mayo Si, Sarvam Jagadidam, Tuato Jayate, Sarvam Jagadidam, Tuatastish Tati, Sarvam Jagadidam, Tuayi Layame Shati. Sarvam Jagadidam Tuai Pratieti, Tuam Bumi Rapo Nalo Nilo Naba, Tuam Shatvari Vak Padani, Tuam Guna Trayatita, Tuam Deha Trayatita, Tuam Kat Trayatita, Tuam Muladara Tito Sinitiam, Tuam Shakti Trayat Makaha, Tuam Yogino Dianti Nitiam, Tuam Brahmas, Tuam Vishnus, Tuam Rudra, Tuam Indras, Tuam Agnis, Tuam Vayus, Tuam Suryas, Tuam Chandramas, Tuam Brahma, Burbuva, Svarum, Ganadim Purva Musharya, Varnadim Taranam Taram, Anushvara Parataraha, Ardendu Lasitam Tarina Rudam, Itat Tava Manushva Rupam, Gakara Purva Rupam, Akaro Majama Rupam, Anushwara Shantya Rupam, Binduru Tara Rupam, Ada Sananam, Sanita Sandihi, Saisha Ganesha Vidya, Kanaka Rishihi, Nishrit Gayatri Chanda, Ganapatir Devata, Om Gan Ganapataye Namaha, Eka Dantaya Vidmahe, Vakra Tundaya Dimahi, Tano Dante Prashodaya, Kadantam Shaturastam, Asham Kusha Darinam, Radam Shah Radam Estai, Vivranam Mushak Dvajam, Raktam Lambodaram, Shurpa Karnakam, Rakta Vasasam, Rakta Gandanu Liptangam, Rakta Pushpahi Supojitam, Bhaktanu Kampinam Devam, Chakat Kanarama Shyutam, Abir Bhutam Sha Shustyadu, Prakute Purushat Param, Evam Jayati Nityam, Sa Yogi Yoginam Varaha, Namo Varatapatai, Namo Ganapatai, Nama Brahmata Patai, Namaste Astu Lambo Daraya, Eka Dantaya Vigna Nashini Shiva Sutaya Shri Varada Murtai Namu Namaha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namu Namaha Om Tomeva Saksha Shri Sumukha Namu Namaha
Om to me vas akshat shri kadanta namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri kapila namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri kashakarnaka namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri lambodara namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri vikata namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri vignanasha namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri kanadipa namo namaha. Om to me vas akshat shri dungraketu namo namaha. Om to me vas aksha shi kanadi aksha namo namaha. Om to me vas aksha shi balachandra namo namaha. Om to me vas aksha shi kajanana namo namaha. Sakshat shri adi shakti mataji shri nirmala devi namo namaha. Let collectively surrender to the Lord Ganesh in Mother Earth. as if you were melting down completely and being one with the Lord Ganesh and his complete purity, innocence, and the power of the chastity. Let's feel our collective muladhara clearing completely, strength being very strong and powerful, completely aligned with the complete presence of the Lord Ganesh. Attention in Sarasvara, complete surrender to the Lord Ganesh at the same time. Let's say she Adi Bumi Devi Mantra. Om Swami Vastakshat Shri Adi Bumi Devi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. We need to really have a collective attention, really focused on Shri Haji Bhumi Devi. We need to feel Mother Earth shining. Both hands are still on the floor. We need to feel the vibration of the Devi in our hands when we say the mantra. Let's say one more time, Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Mantra. Om Swami Vasakshat Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Mata Sakshat 
श्री आदिशक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नम complete collective surrender to shri adi bhumi devi our mother our guru Let's put the left hand on the lap. Shri Mahakali Bhairava. And we focus on the left side from left Muladhara to Bakagya. Let's feel our collective left side uh, so that we are really at the Virat level. We feel the collective left side of, of all the yogis of the world, all the enlightened souls of the world. Shri Mahakali Bhairava. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namuha. One more time. Om. Tuameva Sakshat, Shri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat, Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi Namuna Maha. Let's collectively feel the light of Shri Bhairava clearing all our left side. Now let's put the right hand on the lap, left hand over the shoulder. Shri Maha Sarasvati Anumana. Om Tuameva Sakshat. Shri Maha Sarasvati Anumana Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Let's surrender our right side, our ego, our mind, all the actions and the reactions. We just surrender so that all egos, mind, and action reactions are dissolved into 
the element air. Now both hands on the lap. Attention completely above Sasrara. Let's collectively focus on the Kundalini of Mother Earth. Let's put our attention, our collective attention, on that beautiful center of Kundalini of Mother Earth. Which express itself in India. As a powerful center where all the enlightened soul are attracted and all the saints live. And let's focus also on the collective Kundalini, the primordial Kundalini of the Virat in us as we are the Virat. Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Mantra. Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tuameva Sakshat Shri Adi Kundalini Mata Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let collectively surrender to the, the river of light in us. This river of light who is all powerful, completely surrender to her. We surrender ego, superego, mind, everything that is not divinity in us. We surrender to Kundalini, 
to primordial Kundalini so that we become just pure instrument of her divine will. Attention above Saswara, above collective Saswara. Complete surrender to Mother Kundalini. Let feel the river of light, the river of life flowing in us very powerfully.
let's collectively do a bandan in our hand so that the Lord Ganesh will remove the, all the obstacles combined to Mother Kundalini, remove all the obstacles in all the areas of our lives. I do abandon so that all the obstacles in all the areas of our lives are removed. Attention above us for our while doing abandon and surrendering all the obstacles in all the areas of our, our lives to the Lord Ganesh and to Mother Kundalini.
attention above Sarasvara. Complete surrender to Mother Kundalini and also to the Lord Jesus Christ.
Namaskar, Kundalini, with a heart full of gratitude, and let's thank our mother in our heart. Namaskar, Kundalini.